and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. Piers Morgan has been attacking Meghan and Harry non-stop for three years. He is connected to the establishment, friends with the royals. Only a couple of weeks ago he was out for dinner with Princess Eugenie and Beatrice, which I did a video on at the start of the year. He went to dinner with Camilla, who is now the Queen, along with Jeremy Clarkson, who then wrote an article saying disgusting things about Meghan. Piers Morgan used to be editor of the Daily Mail and the News of the World and was in charge of them when much of the illegal phone hacking was going on. Cases have been settled, people have been sent to jail, but Morgan, who was in charge, never gets any heat. Morgan is obviously protected by the establishment. He is married to the daughter of a conservative politician, obviously very friendly with the royal family, seeing that he goes on dinner dates with various members, which of course, when you look at all the vicious attacks he has made against Meghan and Harry, sometimes on a daily basis for the last three to four years, it's not something that can be ignored, with various members of the royal family having dinner with him in the last few months, it categorically shows that the firm, the royal family, are in approval of his conduct and his attacks on Meghan and Harry. Here we see, Piers Morgan will not take privacy lectures from Prince Harry. Former editors' comments come as Mirror Group on newspapers apologised to Prince Harry at start of trial into phone hacking. So the phone hacking trial is starting up again, phone hacking that happened on his watch. The newspaper, the Daily Mirror, have already apologised in advance to Harry because they know they are in the wrong, and this reporter goes to ask Piers Morgan if he is going to apologise. Let's take a look. Hello. Are you prepared to apologise? All I'm going to say is, I'm not going to take lectures on privacy invasion from Prince Harry. So we can see that this is a person who is very confident. He is protected. He can say anything he likes and he's the backing of the establishment. The tabloid publisher unreservedly apologised to the prince for an instance of unlawful information gathering at the start of the hearing. Morgan, who was editor of the Daily Mirror between 1995 and 2004, does not seem to toe the line. In fact, he then goes on into autopilot mode to deflect it onto Harry, saying he should apologise to the royal family. Pathetic. Somebody who spent the last three years ruthlessly and cynically invading the royal family's privacy for vast commercial gain. Hello, it's you. You have been invading Meghan and Harry ruthlessly and cynically for the last three years with your never-ending ending attacks on media platforms and both television shows like Good Morning Britain or Talk TV or through numerous articles in the toxic tabloids. And it's you who has been paid to do it. It is you who has been making vast commercial gain. You're the one making the money and you're doing it by attacking Meghan and Harry for the last three years, constantly, hundreds of times. In fact, it is now what you are known for. Clinically invading the royal family's privacy for vast commercial gain and told a pack of lies about them. Morgan here has also stated that Harry has told a pack of lies. Surely Harry could sue Morgan for this. Morgan has no way of knowing about Harry's life, so it's an assumption. Calling someone a liar could be defamatory, causing harm to a reputation. Morgan here says Harry, in his book, has told a pack of lies, implying that he has told a great number of lies. Can Morgan prove that Harry is a liar? I'd like to see him bring evidence to a court and try to prove that. So I suggest he gets out of court and apologises to his family for the disgraceful invasion of privacy that he's been perpetrating. The High Court heard today that there were legal practices That's all i got to say. Well, so there you are, classic deflection. Not taking responsibility, avoiding questions, deflecting away and focusing on someone else because he cannot handle being accused. Deflecting not only to someone else but to a whole different narrative, that being Harry's relationship with his family. And the reason he does this is that he doesn't want to draw attention to the allegations of him being in charge of a newspaper, which was caught doing illegal things, like tapping the phones and recording private conversations, of not only celebrities, but also of real victims of crimes. At the start of this trial, at the start of the trial, barrister David Sherborne said the case featured unlawful activities on an industrial scale, 
carried out across three newspapers over a period of about 20 years or so. Mr Sherbone told a hearing in London it was a flood of illegality, but worse still, this flood was being authorised and approved of by senior executives. Addressing Harry's case, the barrister said his claim covered the period of 1995 to 2011 and is significant not just in terms of the span but also the range of activities. Is it any wonder Morgan wants to deflect and scurry back into his house? Let me know your opinion in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.